And with these daily assaults on the subways and a surge in gun violence in the city, a new poll shows public safety is the number one concern for New York City voters. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer takes a look at how the candidates for mayor plan to combat crime. Two commuters fell victim to unprovoked attacks on the subway last night. A 23-year-old stabbed while exiting a C train at the Kingston Troop Station in Brooklyn. Another slashed in the face in Harlem as Mayor de Blasio and the MTA engaged in another round of the blame game. Is it any wonder that New Yorkers are fed up? Who's running the city? Clearly, our government is dysfunctional. I wish they would get their act together. With the city in the midst of a heated mayoral primary, New Yorkers are clearly ready to ditch the old act and raise the curtain on a fresh face to make them feel safe. And it's showing up in recent polls. Respondents to a poll commissioned by New Yorkers for a Better Future said crime was the number one issue, and more than 60% of those surveyed said they were in favor of increasing the NYPD budget and hiring more cops. I'm the only candidate that's in this race that can actually tell you the experience of blowing still dust out of your nostrils after the end of your day. That reference to Adams once working as a transit cop in the subway. In the post George Floyd defund the cops world, Adams has made much of the fact he does not support reducing the NYPD budget. And a new PIX11 Emerson College poll shows that strategy seems to be working. He's emerged at the top of the heap by a slim margin. The poll has Adams at 18, Andrew Yang and Scott Stringer tied at 15, Catherine Garcia 8, Diane Morell at 6, Sean Donovan 5, Ray McGuire 4, Maya Wiley 4, and 23% still undecided. Among the top four contenders, three, Adams, Yang, and Garcia are against defunding the police. Stringer's stance is more nuanced, trying to keep his progressive base by calling for cutting the NYPD budget by $1 billion, but it's over four years. As controller, the waste at the police department is like the waste at every agency. There are too many outside contracts. Overtime is rampant. McGuire also doesn't want to defund the cops. Morales, Wiley, and Donovan are demanding cuts of various amounts. There's just under five weeks until the election. Still plenty of time for any of the candidates to move the needle. Still plenty of time for other events to shape the race. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Marsha. And for more on where the candidates stand on all of the issues, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com, for complete interviews with the mayoral candidates.